Hey, Soldier Knows Best. I'm out of uniform today. Got a little more, my little beard growing out. I'm on, on leave, on vacation. So I'm taking it easy, but I'm still going to give you more videos and stuff like that. Um, but first of all, this is the video over dashboard. The dashboard is a application in the Mac OS X Leopard that allows you to manage all of your widgets. And widgets are little tools and little applications that people make for a certain websites so or just for certain needs and for fun. And uh, it allows you to keep track of these uh cool little things and stuff like that that actually have to go to the source um, that actually have to open up an internet web page you can just look at your widget and get the information that you're looking for and for those of you who don't know what it is you're probably a Windows user um, and Windows Vista introduced their sidebar and their gadgets um, so and that's basically just a copy of dashboard and widgets I can't even put it no different they tried to copy it it didn't go off too well um, so our uh, dashboard and our widgets remains at the top. But anyway, I'm going to open this up on my MacBook Pro. In order to open it up, all I want to do is have to press F4. Now, as you see, all of my uh, widgets come up. And just do a quick one down. You can fully move these widgets anywhere you want. Just click them and drag them. It doesn't matter. And just to show you some of the widgets I have, I have my weather widget here. I just click this and I get the what is this six day forecast so I have now Memphis but you can use um, you can choose any city that you want to I'm a little ESPN widget ESPN widgets keeps track of all my uh, sports news Gmail it's one I use a lot um, if I did have some mail here you can just see the mail and you just click on it and automatically go to it or just choose to go to your inbox now this little plasma tube right here this, like I said, one of those widgets that just for fun, just for show. Uh, binary clock, tell time in a binary way. <laughs> um, and I have live scores here. Live scores I use for uh, mainly for basketball, but you can use it for baseball also. And what this does, it allows you to, it shows you all the games that's going on to keep track of the games. And uh, let's say here, I want to go back to the basketball. Go LA, by the way. And if the game is going on, I'll just click on it and I'll be able to see updated um, stats and updated scores and stuff like that. But my newest addition to my dashboard is my 3G iPhone widget. It's basically just a countdown to the launch of the 3G iPhone on July 11th. Um, so I just you know decided to have it since I am going to be buying it. But anyway, in order to, uh, there's tons and tons of widgets. In order to manage it, just hit this little plus down here. And these are all my widgets that I have download it on my computer and you just scroll through them and like I say you got different ones for um, you know weather and for airlines just for your network stats and stuff like that oh, I forgot to talk, talk about this uh, iStat Pro. iStat Pro is uh, allows you to keep track of everything going on with your computer, your CPU usage, memory usage, the status of your network, battery, um, your, your fan speeds and your temperatures from everything from your GPU to the CPU to your airport car to your heat sinks and everything like that so this is my most used uh, application right here but anyway I digress um, in order to you know in order to manage a widget and to put a widget that you have downloaded your computer and just put it on your dashboard all you do is click it drag it up and boom it pops up release it and there's Homer Simpson and this one is just for fun and so you see his, his eyes will follow the uh, cursor and click on them <laughs> and uh, just something a little, you know, just a little fun novelty right there. But anyway, that's the easiest way to manage your widgets and stuff like that. Uh oh. Let me get out of Can here. Can I go now? Um, but what I'm gonna show you now is how to make your own widgets in Safari. And what you do is open up Safari web page and go to any web page you want. I just happen to be on my YouTube channel web page. By the way, stop by and subscribe to it. But anyway, if you want to keep track of all my new videos without, without actually having to go to YouTube and what you can do is I want to just select this portion of my web page and all I need to do is do this is just right click my um, right click in Safari choose open in dashboard and now I can you know resize it and choose this just this portion of the web page and make my widget and it's, it's very smart it automatically you know knows that this is a box and you know outlines the entire box but if I want to edit it even further I can just click on it and choose the corner and just resize it however I want so let's say I just want to uh, oh, so let's say I just want to keep track of um, let's see here. 
just this portion right here and let me drag this down a little bit and right there okay now I have my uh, widget that I want lined up so I do is click add and it'll add it and it'll pop up in my dashboard loading the clip and boom there you go so every time you launch dashboard it'll automatically update this portion of the web page to keep you from having to launch another Safari browser and do something like that but again, this has been Soldier Knows Best. Can I go now? <laughs> this has been Soldier Knows Best. Subscribe to my channel. You can find videos and tutorials and everything about the 3G iPhone and stuff like that um, all on my, my page there. And also, take a look at my, my blog. Uh, it's also, you see a link on the, the left hand side of my page and under my profile. Um, and subscribe to my blog. I just started it, so I'm trying to keep get that going and just you know be on the lookout. And uh, again, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Peace.